What is up guys? In today's video, we're covering three things that you need to be doing before bow season starts to ensure that your season is the best that it can be. Let's jump into it. What a roller coaster of a season it has been. Welcome back guys, Matt from Man vs. Deer here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about three things that everybody needs to be doing in preparation for bow season. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smack that subscribe button, lots of good content coming your way, I try to release a video at least once a week, and if you are not new to the channel, you probably already have subscribed, and for that, I really appreciate you. So, we are going to jump into this. I'm at the uh, bone wrench today, and I'm flinging some arrows in preparation for early season, and that gave me the idea to do this video. And it's just going to cover three topics that everybody needs to do to prep for bow season. So with that being said, let's dive into it. The first thing that I want to talk about on this topic is shoot your bow. And I'm going to say that again because it's so important. Shoot your bow. It's not enough just to come out here and target shoot every once in a while. You probably need to be shooting your bow at least once a week. More specifically, you need to every once in a while be shooting your bow in the environment that you're going to be hunting in. And what I mean by that is if you use a tree stand, or you use a, a tree saddle, or you shoot from a ground blind, you hunt from a ground blind, you're going to want to every once in a while shoot from that environment. You're going to want to set your tree stand up and take some steep angle shots. You're going to want to practice shooting around the weak side of the tree, or if you've got a saddle, you're going to want to practice that hard over the uh, uh, bridge shot. Or if you've got a ground blind, maybe you've got a weak side to your right. Whatever it is, you want to work all those kinks out before season starts, and I promise you, you're going to be miles ahead if you do this. In relation to shooting your bow, the other thing that you want to touch on is you want to make sure that you're shooting the broadhead you intend it sh to shoot at deer at a target every once in a while. You want to make sure that that broadhead doesn't fly wonky. You want to make sure that uh, the uh, Luminox that you use on the arrow aren't going to grab the string and cause the arrow to kick funny. You want to work out all those kinks before season and like I said earlier, you'll be miles ahead. All right, so jumping into tip number two, that is practicing with your gear. Whether you use a tree stand and sticks, uh, sticks and a climbing saddle, or you use a uh, ground blind and you need to practice setting it up, those are all things that you're gonna wanna grab out of the garage and shake off the rest prior to hunting season. If you don't do that, you're gonna be louder than you wanna be, you're gonna take more time to set up than you wanna take, and you are going to get way more frustrated, which is in turn going to lose confidence. Okay, so get that stuff out, shake off the rust, work out all those kinks, practice walking around with it, make sure everything's quiet, set it up, tear it down, just work out any kinks that may be there. And the other part of this is your camera gear. If you are a self-filmer or you film with a buddy and you've got camera gear that you take to the woods with you, you're going to want to practice setting that camera gear up, tearing that camera gear down, and no one does this. You want to practice some filming before season. You want to get familiar with those camera controls that way it doesn't cost you any deer. I did not take my own advice there. In the first season I started filming, it cost me at least three kills on film because I wasn't familiar with the camera or I was allowed setting it up or I double punched the record button. But again, shake that rust off early and you're gonna be miles ahead during both season. That brings us to the last tip of the day, which is review your notes. Now this, this is something I don't know if everyone does and if you don't do it, you should. I started years ago keeping notes of every hunt how many deer I seen, what the weather was, what the wind direction was doing, uh, if there was any other hunter pressure, the time of year, the food sources that were dropping. I just try to not to jot down bullet notes of everything that's going on in the woods. And it's helped me tremendously. Uh, there's two things inside of this that I want to specifically cover as far as reviewing your notes to use the last season's failures for this season's success. And the first one of those things is you need to look for patterns inside of those notes. You need to connect any dots that may be there and use those to your advantage. What does that look like? Well, maybe as you're going through your notes, you notice that every time you hunt a specific property and that property had a north wind, you had amazing sits. 
Maybe you notice that on one sit, a uh, deer will munch on a, a certain plant, and you remember in a completely different spot walking in that you happen to see some of that plant, and you may be able to hunt over that this year. Whatever those things are, whatever those dots may be, read those notes thoroughly, try to connect them, and it may give you some awesome hunts this fall. And the last thing that we're going to talk about in that category is using historical data. If you run trail camera pictures, or you go back through your notes and look through all your good sits, odds are you can go back this year on that same day under those same conditions and have a really good sit that has worked for me a bunch of different times. I've killed a lot of deer doing that and it can definitely work to your benefit this year. Well guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of content coming down the pipe this fall and it's all gonna be targeted towards deer hunting, how to get better at deer hunting and uh, my trials and errors with that. Make sure you like the video. If you have any tips you wanna add or questions you wanna ask, drop that stuff in the comments below. And hey, I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one. Good luck this fall.